Normally on this show, we like to stick to wild animals, since domestic animals tend to have quite a bit of attention around the internet already. However, when it comes to talking about camels, this is almost impossible. There are three living camel species in the world, and only one is technically considered a wild animal. On top of that, the one wild species is listed as critically endangered, and there are believed to be fewer than 1,000 individuals alive today. Which means most of the millions of camels around the world are domestic animals, or at least have become feral from domestic populations. So, we're bending a few rules with this episode to discuss all the living camel species. But, we're honestly curious how many of you were even aware that wild camels are nearly extinct. Be sure to let us know in the comments. Camels are quite recognizable. One species, the dromedary camel, has only one hump, while the other two species, the wild and domestic Bactrian camels, have two humps. These humps are used for fat storage. A well-nourished camel's hump stands tall, but a malnourished camel's hump may sag or disappear completely. So, a camel's humps don't remain the same size throughout its lifetime. All three camel species are roughly the same size, standing approximately 6 to 6.5 six feet high at the shoulder, and weighing 900 to over 2,000 pounds, though females are generally slightly smaller. They have large eyelashes, like giraffes, which help protect their eyes from debris, as well as a third eyelid through which they can see, but still have protection from sand. They can also close their nostrils to keep sand out. If you look closely, you may be able to discern that some of the closest living relatives to camels are llamas. Technically speaking, camels, along with llamas, are believed to have originated in North America during prehistoric times, but today the only wild living camels are found in small parts of China and Mongolia. Originally, wild camels spread across Africa and Asia, and in current times many of these populations have been replaced with domestic variants. Camels were likely domesticated between 6,000 and 4,000 years ago. While camels are well known for their abilities to live in hot regions, they can even be found in snowy places. Camels can tolerate temperatures down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. They are, however, intolerant of humidity. Camels travel in large groups headed by a single male. The male controls the group, which is made up of reproductively mature females, as well as their offspring. Camels begin giving birth at about three years of age, though males generally don't start breeding until they're five or older. The male will mate with the females in his group, and fight off any roving bachelors by biting at their legs. A female camel gestates for a little over a year, and removes herself from the herd to give birth, similar to African elephant moms. The baby, called a calf, can walk within its first 24 hours of life, and won't join up with the rest of the group until it is about two weeks old. A camel calf will nurse for one to two years, and remain in its mother's herd for at least another year. Overall, camels may live to be anywhere from 17 to more than 40 years old. Besides humans who use camels for meat, leather, and fur, camel predators include wolves and leopards though they are generally left alone due to their large size. Camels themselves are mostly herbivorous and have strong, thick lips that can pull out tough vegetation. The camel's diet includes leaves, grasses, and thorn bushes. However, if the need arises, camels will also eat fish as well as animal-based products like leather satchels. They're ruminants with multiple stomachs like a cow, and spend hours a day chewing their food. Most of their water comes from food sources, but camels can drink 30 gallons of water in about 10 minutes if they're thirsty enough, a feat that would otherwise kill other mammal species. During relatively good conditions, a well-nourished camel can go seven days without eating or drinking, which is a large part of why they became such an important animal for the movement of people throughout history. Camel caravans made up the backbone of historical trade routes throughout many parts of Africa and Asia. For more facts on camels, check out the links in the description. Thank you to David and Pratiba for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.